Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a galactic astrology soul reader and Reiki master teacher. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a little bit about why I am sharing a new class in a series that is meant to teach the astrology basics with Reiki energy as a guide, as a helper, as this healing energy that will naturally heal and reveal the higher frequencies of our birth chart. Reiki was the energy that naturally encouraged me to begin my studies of astrology in a more serious way. I actually found a picture recently where I had my first astrology book back in 2015 when I was spending time in Hawaii after finishing my master's in psychology in grad school and deciding I was not going to stay in Indiana. I needed to move where the fruit was good and the vibes were high and let myself even get to know my authentic self and begin to express my authentic self. And it was during that trip, it was actually a first attempt to move to the island, that I finally bought an astrology book, and I believe it was the Linda Goodman Sun Signs book, and start reading about it and learning a little bit about astrology. However, my spiritual path waxed and waned and it wandered, and I did not continue to pursue astrology my studies, although I found the topic very interesting. I went in other directions, and it wasn't until I took Reiki 1 and 2 training, and I started sharing Reiki with other people, and I found that other people who did really cool things like astrology and Akashic Records readings and other forms of healing, intuitive work, psychics, mediums, many of them, if not most of them, would tell me, oh, I, I did Reiki too. Oh yeah, that's where it started for me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And that was just really mind-blowing to me because Reiki was new to me and it seemed completely unrelated to astrology as far as I could tell. However, fast forward six months later, I took my Reiki master training and it was about six months after that that finally my curiosity got the best of me and I finally started my practice of astrology and really studying it in depth. And it has been nonstop since then, and now having a full-time astrology practice and teaching classes and really enjoying it, I have become aware of the need to teach some foundation, but not to just teach it as a standalone base of knowledge and wisdom and information, but to teach it actually alongside the benefit of a Reiki journey that allows the astrology to express more fully in an embodied and experiential way rather than just learning the astrology intellectually. So this first class is going to endeavor to do that with an exploration of the zodiac signs. And I want to let you know that astrology is a very practical tool as well. It's very practical in that it has helped me with timing, of course, but also realizing my timing and my cycles and aspects of my personality, aspects of my psyche, aspects of my soul, confirming my intuition of different past life experiences, soul experiences, future energies, confirming and expanding upon my gifts, my talents, mastery, challenges, areas for growth, and also showing me in the present moment a reflection of what's going on and why something may be flowing really well or may actually be a moment of challenge and difficulty. And it's in these moments of challenge and difficulty where astrology 
is really, really helpful for helping me step outside of my situation and looking at it from a higher perspective, a snapshot of my current inner experience. And we can do this with many astrology techniques, but the one that I'm referring to right now is the transits and understanding like right now, I'm in a cycle where that it feels very challenging. It feels very difficult. It feels like a big growth moment and very emotionally intense. And being able to look at my transits chart and know how it's aspecting my natal chart, I can see exactly why <laughs> astrological correlation that reflects my inner experience, I can know, hey, it's really going to be intense this month, next month, and then guess what? It eases off. And I'll get another dose of it, but it'll just be a single pass and it'll be next February. And I can know that. And that helps me put in perspective that a more challenging emotional time is a temporary experience and it will pass. And that's something we know. Emotions are energies and emotions. We know the nature of the earth and humanity and this physical human life is impermanent. Any good Buddhists will know that and any of us who have observed life, that things don't stay the same forever. Things adapt, things evolve, we adapt, we evolve, we grow, we change, we move, we transform. And to be able to see that with the astrology, I remember for years, I would be in a depressed cycle. And I was in that mindset of like, this is never going to change. And that sank me even deeper into sadness and depression with the tool because I was so in the orb of my own subjective experience. And this comes with having a lot of Leo placements, a lot of Gemini placements, more personal placements. It's the Aquarian energy that helps us step back be more objective, see the bigger picture, and understand more objectively what's going on, how long it's going to last, and maybe offer with that awareness some solutions, some possibilities, some ways to work with the energy skillfully, but also to not seek to bypass whatever needs to come up during a more challenging tense or intense period or cycle or transit. So with all of that said, the planet that is reflecting this inner process for me is actually Saturn stationing retrograde on June 29th. And it is at 19 degrees basically all this month and most of July. And I have a moon that is also an immutable sign. It's in Gemini at 19 degrees and some change. And you no, know, that's not to say everybody with a mutable placement around 19 degrees will be feeling this. Maybe some people are not, but Maybe, maybe that's you if you have something at 19 degrees of Virgo, of Sagittarius, possibly of Pisces, as well as Gemini, you may be feeling a lot of tension or emotion. It's going to be colored by whatever planet is in that alignment. Saturn stationing retrograde is also an opportunity to set foundations and review basics. And so I am inspired to share the first of this Astrology Basics series, Exploring the Zodiac Signs, on June 22nd, and it'll be 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Hawaii time. It will be recorded, so it's totally okay. If you can't attend live, you will receive high-quality recordings. You will receive a PowerPoint with the slides so that you have all the information clearly laid out. And I'm really looking forward to the class because we're going to use a lot of different chart examples. We'll go over each of the zodiac signs, energies, meanings, and symbolisms, have a nice overview of all of the different significations of each of the signs, and use chart examples from the students in class to see more about 
how those signs come to life in the birth chart, be able to see them in the birth chart. In this class and the rest of the series, which I'll be teaching over the course of the next month, if all goes to divine plan, it's always going according to divine plan. It just may or may not be Taylor's plan. <laughs> Reiki willing. Over the course of the next few months, this class series in this first class is intended to help you begin developing your astrological fluency. So the class is designed for beginners or an astrology student of any level that wishes to return and review the basics and also receive that Reiki healing and revealing of the higher frequencies of the birth chart and embodying the zodiac sign archetypes, having your own inner experience of that within yourself, not just from an intellectual standpoint, but actually emotionally feeling them, spiritually feeling them, and receiving that healing, receiving that revealing of the higher frequencies. So this is one of your first steps to achieving an astrology fluency. It all starts with understanding the signs. This is a very, very important step. And this is the first step I undertook to explore and really learn and master in my own training and study. So if you want to develop astrological fluency, this is your first step. This class is for you. If you want to expand your intuition using Reiki and astrology, then this class is also for you. If you wish to heal and reveal the higher frequencies of your birth chart and bring some healing energy into those challenging squares, bring some healing energy into those oppositions, integrate more of your birth chart, the promise, the potential, unlock more of the potential of the birth chart because you have this natal blueprint and there's an opportunity to expand and play the music of your birth chart at a higher frequency, at a more beautiful expression with more grace, ease, love, flow, awareness, learning your souls and lives and spirits lessons in the most gentle and beautiful way where you can be aware of what you need to be aware of and also be guided to move along and bring in more of that grace and more of that flow, more of that peaceful way of being and experiencing a sense of inner peace, no matter what your astrology chart looks like. So falling in love with your own astrology birth chart by learning the zodiac signs and learning taking one step closer to being able to read your own birth chart and knowing that this is the foundation for being able to read transit charts, understand how the transiting planets right now are interacting with your own natal arrangement, being able to read other people's charts, being able to apply even more advanced techniques like the galactic astrology techniques other fixed star techniques and so on all starts with these basics and it all starts with basically memorizing mastering the archetypes of the zodiac signs so if this class sounds interesting to you please go to my website taylornorrisreiki.com you can read more about it if you have questions drop them in the comments below I'd be happy to answer your questions and see if this class is right for you. It will be in a format which I normally teach in, which begins with a Reiki invocation, and then we have information, we have an astrology presentation. There will be many chart examples in the presentation. There will be an opportunity for you to ask your questions, receive answers, and we will also do a Reiki journey where you're able to experience the zodiac signs from within yourself and develop more of that right relationship, that harmonious relationship 
with each of the signs and have your own authentic, unique experience with the signs so that you can become more in relationship with them, develop more awareness, and really bring out the promise of your birth chart. So I really look forward to this class. It's always a sacred circle of just the most beautiful souls. It's a safe space. It's a Reiki held space. There's time to share about your experiences. We always end the class with another brief invocation. So it really is a very sacred, safe space. It's perfect for cancer season. We can come, be safe, be learning interesting information, be growing in our self-awareness and really be developing a strong foundation for building astrological fluency, developing your intuition, and of course, bringing in that healing and revealing of your birth chart so that you are shining in all the ways you're meant to shine in this lifetime. So I look forward to connecting with you more soon. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is. Mahalo.